The courtroom was thick with tension as the convicted cop killer took the stand in an effort to convince the jury his life should be spared. And it got especially intense when District Attorney Kerry Brandenburg went after him on cross-examination. News 13's Alex Tomlin was in the Santa Fe courtroom. Carrie Brandenburg wasted no time hammering Astorga on the stand, but it was her giant liars list that got everyone's attention. I'd like to make a list of liars, um, just so that we can keep track of everybody that's lied about you or that's done you wrong. The list of liars grew quickly during Brandenburg's cross-examination of Astorga. It all started when Astorga accused his former parole officer of making false accusations against him on the stand. With respect to the courts, ma'am, a number of people have came in here and taken an oath, and that, that hasn't been the truth, has I it? am very aware of that, Mr. Astorga. Thank you. I'm very aware of that. I appreciate that. Everyone from officers and witnesses in the case ended up on the list. Brandenburg then surprised the courtroom concerning Bernalillo County Deputy James McGrain, Jr. Astorga, who was convicted of murdering McGrain during a 2006 traffic stop, said McGrain didn't give a good description of the truck he pulled over right before the murder. Do you want me to add Deputy McGrain's name to that list of liars? Why would you if I don't know him? The DA didn't let up, even taking a shot about Astorga's youngest son. And you consider him your child? I sure do. Actually, he was conceived and born when you were in prison. Just irrelevant and immaterial to the case. With the liars list mounting, Astorga didn't hold back, and his attorney had to step in. Why not put Ms. Brandenburg <coughs> on that list, ma'am? Michael. McGrain's parents have been here every day since the hearing started, and were certainly listening to every word Astorga said on the stand today. They had strong reaction to what they call his lies. Hear from them coming up at 10. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. The hearing had to recess early today after the court reporter realized her machine hadn't been transcribing the testimony. The court's now planning on watching recordings from the media that they made of the testimony to get back on track.